From the city of Amiens in France, I welcome you to this episode of African Players in Europe. On this episode, we are visiting a Nigerian footballer who plays in this city. His name is Steven Ode. My name is Steven Lode, a professional football player. Uh, I came from nothing, now I'm here and I'm not uh, yet where I want to be. And the journey continues. Uh, well, you know, if I think about all those times, you know, you know I just like, yo, I've made it far to this stage, and uh, I want to thank God also for my life, my family, everyone that supported me to get to this stage, and I'm really happy. And you know, it was not like an easy journey, but along the line, you know, too many obstacles, setbacks, well, all those ones just keeps me going and keep giving me the motivations also to never stop and I still have like a long way to go, you know, in my career. Uh, when I look at those videos, I was like, when I see like myself, I just like, ah, you know, I have a lot of things to let the people discover about me and and I, I just think like they've not seen the best of me yet and you know but along the line you know there's in, in life in football in general anything in general there are a little bit of obstacles like setbacks that but with your dedication with your determination and your hard work I think everything's just gonna work in place for you at the right time There are a lot of challenges though. Uh, first, I'll say like the world aspect and the language and you know, the new environment you have to get used to. And you know, uh, the tr some training facilities that we don't have also in Nigeria that they, that they have here like, and the punctuality at the same time, you know. There's no like, people always say African time or something <laughs> like that, you know. There's no down here, you know, you just have to be on time at the right time and you have to know like the meals you have to eat and the language also to communicate, try to communicate with players. It's so difficult because you're coming from a place you can mingle with a lot of people because you all speak the same language and you come into a place people don't even understand your language so you can't even express yourself. Yes. So there's nothing, just have to adapt and try to learn, try to go out with friends that, you know, they can even help you more to learn the language faster and welcome you in, uh, in the team also. 
when I was happy, like when I get to Zurich, it was really, really good for me. I mingle with people, and there are a lot of people that speak English also. And at the same time, it gives me the courage also to 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 get along with the player and with the team so fast. So we are in the city of Amiens. Tell us about your small home right now. <laughs> this is Amiens for you. My my small city. I call it. They, they call it the, the hardworking city. Okay. Lots of people here are so hardworking. So what what what's what's about this city that that is different from Lagos, for example? Uh, a lot of things. <laughs> Yo, a lot of things. I'm not gonna imagine. You know, like though I'm driving freely here, yeah, I can I can never drive freely like that in Lagos. People will just stop you down. For sure, you also you wanna go see your friends around and here you got just few friends around. And you know the old case of the corona also at the same time, you know where to go to always cover your your face with the mask. I don't know. What about um, traffic? Ah, in, in, in traffic aspect, I think that is the best, you know. Everybody knows that though. I don't have to say too much about that. You know, Nigeria, we are too crowded, especially in Lagos. But it's part of the big city, I guess. Yeah. It's just like you're going to Paris also. By this time, if you're, if you're in the city in Paris, there's always traffic also, like full traffic. So, do you have places in this city where you hang out, like pubs? I just make my my home the the hangout spot. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't need too much because I came here for a mission. I'm, I'm not here to to party, you know. So at home, when you you say you make your home your hangout spot, yes. what do you have at home that makes it like a hangout spot? Everything I I, I want to have everything is at home. The PS5, the PlayStation Five. The food, the real Nigerian <laughs> food, you know, the drinks, whatever. How many drinks I want? Good. It looks like family is very important to you. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. They are really, really important to me. And they are one of the reasons why I, I always want to go hard and want to give all I have, you know, just to make them happy and make them proud. I remember the last time we were talking, you said failure is not an option. That was very deep. Right, failure is not an option at all. It was never an option. Yeah. I got too many people looking up to me and I'm not going to fail to, you know. 
brilliant. It's not even part of it. Even like everything I do, even though no matter what I'm going through, I'm, I never thought like in my life like failing or something because I still know I still got time to prove them wrong and, and I'm still doing all it takes to you know to keep fighting and to keep doing my best on and off the pitch. So Coming and you've seen my city and my daily routine. You know? One love, bro. Yeah? 